Hey guys, it's Joel. You're watching my podcast, Party Like a Rockstar. I checked out a new song to me by Baby Metal yesterday. It was called Over the Future. I enjoyed it a lot. And I was informed by you guys that it's actually a cover from Sue Metal's earlier band called Karen's Girls. And so I was sent the link through a Patreon member named Kevin. Thank you, brother. I appreciate it. And I'm eager to check out this band that I haven't watched before. So we're going to do it together. If you haven't watched any of my podcasts and you don't know who I am, I'm an ex-roadie. I used to tour bands like Guns N' Roses, Stone Tumble Pilots, Poison, and The Cranberries. I wrote a book called Memoir of a Roadie. It was the number one new release on Amazon and Bios. It's done 3 million copies on Kindle, and it's been a lot of fun. I do have a Patreon. You can join it for as little as $1. You can let me know songs you think I should react to, and I'll do my best to do so. Anyway, let's jump into this. Let's check it out. Over the Future. Karen's Girls with Sue Metal.
I enjoyed that so much. I honestly didn't think I would like it that much. No particular reason. I don't know. It just, I figured it was earlier and it would just be these little kids dancing around, which it was, but they're very talented little kids. It was interesting to me that Sumetta was not the focal point in the video. I was surprised. I did not expect that. And it's, it's a good song. I mean, it's genuinely a really good track. The choreography was excellent. So it's clearly been a mark in her career. And I love the harmonizing of all of them. So that was a really, really good song. I think I like that as much as the baby metal version. I thought that was superb. That was really good. So anyway, thanks for the suggestion. Thank you for further opening my eyes <laughs> to baby metal's uh, backstory, I guess you could say. Looking forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Take care. <laughs>